All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit 10,000 subscribers again. We want to thank everybody again. Trey, if you want to pull that 10,000 subscribers up, if you guys comment Llama on any of our videos up until Super Bowl, you will be entered into winning $1,000 from us. The only catch is, come Super Bowl Sunday, you have to be in the chat to claim the prize. We're going to have a live at halftime. You have to be in the chat to claim the prize, and you have to comment Llama on any of the videos up until the Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it Pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So, obviously, the intro is not going to have plays for today. But these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus 2.5, the Heat minus 5, Quinnipiac minus 4.5, and Wisconsin minus 10.5. Those are Trey's and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so 4-3, to 6-2, to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're gonna do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're gonna get our I don't know how we're gonna get our cheddar, but uh you guys are just gonna have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get in some NCAA basketball picks and props for Sunday, January 26th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I uh, am going on a little slide right here. Please don't lose faith on me. Um, I can't have you guys lose faith, but I give out Princeton minus two and a half going up against Cornell. And this game was over before it started. Princeton, they were trying to make that second half comeback. They were down by 19 at halftime. Not sure what happened. I was on a plane uh, flying back, so I didn't get to watch the game. But uh, whenever I got off and had service, uh, the person sitting next to me uh, did not like my reaction. Yeah, always tough to lose on a Saturday. Hate to lose on Saturday. 0 oh, 1 for myself. I had Auburn minus two and a half. I watched the entire game, and I'm almost positive. They never led in this game against Mississippi State. They they tied it up a couple times. They got within one a couple times. But whenever they got close, Mississippi State would go on a 5-0 run. They ended the, they won the last four minutes. That's what it came down to. It was a great defensive game, 21-21 in the first half. Auburn, they just couldn't get anything going offensively. Very bad performance by then. 0-1 day for myself. Trey, we're going to bounce back in a big way. Sweep the board tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to start us off here with this Wright State going up against IUPUI game. First game of the day. Uh, on the board so uh, early board so hopefully you guys watch this video and get it in but i'm very excited to watch this game both teams they've kind of had below average seasons whenever we're looking at what their preseason expectations are because right state they enter this game with an 11 and 10 record they're also 9 and 10 ats and the raiders they are 3 and 6 on the road this season but iupui they come in this game with a 6 and 16 record they're also 5 and 14 ats and the jaguars they are 4 and 7 at home but if I'm being honest with you guys, I think this game is going to be a blowout. Give me Wright State on the road here, minus 14 and a half. They're just going to win this game by 20 plus. So I'm not worried about this massive line. Look for Wright State to simply dominate because their offense is just too elite. And IUPUI is simply doo doo on a stick. Wright State, they enter this game with a top five offense in college basketball. They average 86.3 points per game, which is the fifth highest in college basketball. And it's quite easily uh, known why they put up so many points because they lead the nation and the most efficiency team. As a team, they shoot 54.1% from the field. And whenever we factor in this IUPUI defense as a bottom 10 defense in college basketball, it just seems like a great bet here because IUPUI, they allow 77.7 .7 points per game. And as a team, they allow their opponents to shoot 49.9% from the field, almost 50%. That's the second highest percentage in the nation. That is just no bueno. And IUPUI, they check in this game as the second worst ranked team in the Ken Palm. That means they're ranked 361 out of 362 teams. That is just straight Garbaggio. And Wright State, they're entered at 148, which is 213 spots higher than IUPUI. Give me the Raiders here to roll in this game. And if you guys didn't watch our live show, I was just recently in Ohio, which is right next to IUPUI. And the people that I was working with told me that their kids go to Purdue and met an athlete that had to get sent to IUPUI because his grades weren't good enough. So give me this uh, filler school to get blown out here in this game by Wright State. Give me Wright State minus 14 and a half versus IUPUI. 
Love the play there, Trey. Love it. I love Wright State. Uh, for my play today, I'm going to be looking at an American game. North Texas going up against FAU. I'm going to take North Texas plus 9.5 on the road. This is one of the best defenses in the nation going up against one of the best offenses in the nation. And I'm going to pick defense, something I usually don't do. I just haven't been that impressed with FAU this year. I think they're not as good as they were last season when they made the run. They're scoring a bunch of points per game, but they're also allowing a bunch of points per game over the last five games. They've only covered the spread in one of those games, and they allowed UTSA to score 103, Wichita State 77, UAB 73, Tulane 84. If you've been following any of those programs, that's over their average points on the year by a wide margin. North Texas this season, they've been very bad at producing points, but the one thing they can do is they play lockdown defense. I almost bled out my eyes watching SMU play North Texas the last time they were on the court, and it was mainly because SMU, a team who can score with these, they lost. They were lost the entire game. They didn't know what to do. I think North Texas, they can honestly win this game with the way they play defense. They love to crash the glass as well, and they just need to hit their outside shots. FAU, they rank 210th in the nation guarding the perimeter, and they're 207th at rebounding. North Texas, number 18 in rebounding, and I saw it with my own eyes, Trey. Bugs, he came off the bench for North Texas, first game of the season. He went four for four from deep in five minutes. SMU defensively is much better than FAU, and North Texas found a way to put up 60-plus. I think North Texas gives FAU everything they can handle in this game. They might even win, but I'm going to take the points plus nine and a half as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? Yeah, we had a good day on the props at least. I gave out P.J. Hall over 15 and a half points versus Duke, and he finished his game with 19. Clemson, they ended up losing by one point. I wanted them to kind of finish strong there and give P.J. Hall that win he needs versus Duke. But at the end of the day, he cashed, so that's all that matters. Yeah, I would want to know as well. I had Antonio Reeves over 19.5. Uh, going up against Arkansas, he finished with 24. Kentucky didn't look great offensively, but Antonio Reeves looked great again, scoring 20-plus points. Guys, let's go to the props for tomorrow. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to be going with Zach Eady here. I'm going to take him to go over 11 and a half rebounds going up against Rutgers. I really love this over for Eady here in this game. We are going to see him control and dominate the glass throughout this one because he's simply a massive human being, Eady. He checks in at 7 foot 4 inches tall and weighs 300 pounds. And he uses that size very well. And Edie has been dominating here recently as well. Because over his last four games, he's averaging a massive 15.5 rebounds per game, which is way over this number. And whenever we look at his games versus Rutgers, last season he averaged 11 rebounds per game. But I think he's going to turn it up and just get one extra rebound for us here to hit that number. Because the Scarlet Knights, they simply don't have a ton of size to throw at Edie. Their center only plays 27 minutes per game. And he's only 6 foot 11 and is 60 pounds less than Edie. So I think Edie's going to be able to control him in the painted area. And then whenever we look at how Edie has played on the road this season, it makes me love this bet even more because on the road, Edie, he's averaging 13.4 rebounds per game. And I expect him to get those type numbers here. Give me Zach Edie to go over 11 and a half rebounds versus Rutgers. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there. I'm going with another big man for my props. It's going to be David Jones of Memphis to go over his total points. Are you guys getting sick of David Jones yet? Because I'm really not. I love giving him out. He's basically guaranteed cash for us on a Sunday afternoon. He's going up against UAB in this game. And UAB, they've been giving up a ton of points on the season. They're giving up 75.1 points per game. And they just gave up 76 to Charlotte, who really struggles to score. Memphis, as everybody knows, is very explosive. And David Jones is the reason for that. He scored 25-plus points in three of the last four games, and he's coming off a 32-point performance against Tulane. David Jones gets even more aggressive on the road than he does at home as well, taking more shots on the road this season, still scoring close to 20 points per game. He's shooting 46% from the season and uh, nearly 40% from deep on the year. He's just a walking bucket. I'm going to keep taking him to go over his total points until, until he fails me. Give me David Jones over his total points against UAB as the plus. Go to the play of the day. Let's go to the play of the day, Trey, and let's look at the board. What do we have yesterday? I don't even remember. Oh, we gave out Kansas State. Yeah, I watched it early. They got dominated by Houston. And I bet it. And I bet uh, on your team. Uh, on your Wildcats. It's been a long day. It's been 10 straight hours of basketball. Yeah, yeah I've been so, on the plane for a lot. A lot yeah, of the past few days. And I didn't like uh, getting off the plane and seeing K-State got their butt whipped by Houston. I mean, it wasn't even close either. I mean, Houston, I, maybe Houston's best game of the season. All right. We got kind of a smaller slate on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to give out my play first. I like Memphis minus four and a half. They're coming off back-to-back -back, uh, losses. I think they're going to dominate UAB. You think they're going to dominate UAB, do you? That's just me. That's just me. All right. I mean, UAB is not overly good. I was going to give out SMU minus five and a half, but you probably don't like SMU right now. So we can go with Memphis. I'm, I'm okay with – I mean, I'm okay with anything. I'm just floating ideas out. I mean – 
Wichita SMU State coming off had, loss as well. Wichita State's been horrible this season. Wichita State's been bad. I They're mean, bad. they've been really bad. And I feel I think Wichita State's like dominated this series. I don't know if we can look that up real quick. Um, head to head over their last, uh, yeah, seven and one over their last eight games. Which tough they dominated? Games. Yes, we can go with that Memphis game. All right, yeah, let's. Well, I'm I'm thinking SMU revenge. No. Oh, you, okay. You like SMU revenge? Uh, last I'm time, in- ooh, last season, uh, Wichita State won in overtime by two points at home. So maybe they're wanting to get one back on them. Well, Wichita State lost a lot of people in the transfer portal. They lost Walton. Uh, that's their best player. So I like SMU off a loss. Good defense, great offense. We'll take them. I like SMU. I love it. Let's let's write it. Minus five and a half. Trey, let's go to the graphic. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Wright State here. Minus 14 and a half against IUPUI. They are a so very bad team. Actually, second worst team in Ken Palm. So I think that's going to rear its head throughout this game. Also going with Zach Edey over 11 and a half rebounds versus Rutgers. I think he's easily going to get this. Edey is easily going to get this over rebounds. Yeah, I'm going with North Texas plus nine and a half. I really think they can, they can win the game. The defense is insane. If you guys watch them play, it's they're fun to watch. But if you uh, if you don't like defense and you like watching points, probably not the game to watch. And then give me David Jones over his points going up against UAB. He's been a machine all season long. He's been a cash cow for us. I like his over points again on a Sunday afternoon. That's going to do it, guys, for our NCAA plays and props for Sunday, January 28th, Slendy Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 